Cubic equations of state are the simplest way to accurately represent pressure, volume, and temperature characteristics of both gases and liquids across wide ranges of temperatures and pressures. They are cubic with respect to molar volume and are particularly useful in calculating molar volume. When to use a cubic equation of state. Cubic equations of state are accurate over nearly all T and P ranges and are particularly useful when modeling PVT behavior of both liquid and gas phases. They're also useful, most useful when application of the ideal gas equation is not accurate. That is, PR and TR values lie outside the region given in figure 3.15. Here is a general form of a cubic equation of state. P is the pressure, V is the volume, T is the temperature in Kelvin, and R is the universal gas constant. And then we also have A as a function of temperature, and B, which are substance-specific constants that also depend on temperature, and lowercase sigma and epsilon are pure number constants and are unitless. J. D. van der Waals proposed the first cubic equation of state back in 1873. In this equation of state, A and B are positive substance-specific constants that depend on temperature and pressure. You can see that we cannot specifically explicitly solve this equation for V, so cubic equations of state must be solved using iterations. Here are other more useful general forms of cubic equations of state. One for solving vapor and vapor-like roots, and another for solving liquid and liquid-like roots. Essentially, they are just the general form solved for a different V, and also, instead of V, we are solving for Z, which is a compressibility factor. And then we also have the equation for beta and Q. Depending on the cubic equation of state, those different variables um, change. The van der Waals equation is the simplest cubic equation of state, with sigma and epsilon both equaling zero, and they get progressively more complex as you go down, and also more accurate. In order to solve cubic equations of state without computer software, they must solve them using iterations because they cannot be expressed explicitly in terms of z. However, with computer software, cubic equations of state can easily be solved using software packages such as Polymath, MathCAD, or Maple. Now let's see examples of both. Here's an example of how to solve a readily called cubic equation of state for ethane without the use of a computer. We're going to solve for the compressibility factor and the specific volume of ethane at a condition of 50 degrees T C at 15 bar. Our first step is to find T in Kelvin, and then to, to look up through tables the T C and P C of ethane, which are the critical temperature and critical pressure. We use those to find a reduced temperature or reduced pressure so we can find beta and Q, which are part of the Redley quality and cube equation of state. The omega and psi and alpha TR are all specific to the Redley Kalan equation of state. The next step in solving this uh, problem is to write the general equation for the cubic equation of state. We see from table 3.1 that in the case of the Redley Kalan equation of state, epsilon equals 0 and sigma equals 1. And then we've also written our calculated Q and beta values from the previous step. Since we cannot explicitly solve for z in this equation, we have to guess an initial value of z equals 1, because that is the z value of an ideal gas. We then plug everything into this equation and calculate a z initial value of 0.917. We then take 0.917 and plug it back in on the right side of the equation and solve for a new z value of 0.907. We keep doing this until the two, z the two previously calculated z values are essentially the same. In this case, we find that z equals 0.906. We then plug that into the compressibility factor equation uh, solved for v, 
and find that the specific volume is equal to 1,622.7 centimeters cubed per mole. We can solve the previous problem much faster using a program called Polymath. In order to do this, we take advantage of the nonlinear equation solver, which is this little button up here. And that will basically bring up a blank white screen, but I've already typed out my program. So the first step is to enter the equation of state that we're going to be solving, which I've done here except we're going to call it a function of z. So we move the z on the left side of the equation over the right side. And put f of z on the left side. Next we enter a range of z values over which the program is going to look for a solution. I set my minimum to 0 and my maximum to 2. Next I've entered in the formulas uh, from the previous problem for beta and q. And then I have my reduced temperature and reduced pressure equations along with the given temperature pressure values and critical temperatures and pressures. Next I've entered in all the parameters from table 3.1 for the red lit Kwong cubic equation of state. Those are all entered here and then I have finally V equals Z times R times T over P which is going to take the calculated Z value and give me a corresponding molar volume value. Now if I forget to define a variable in polymath it will tell me up here that I have an undefined variable and it will not let me solve. So it, it will tell you if you're not ready for a solution. So I type in R equals 83.14 and then it tells me it's ready so I hit the pink arrow and you see that we get the same value that we calculated by hand, 0.906 for Z and 1,622 for V, and that's in centimeters cubed per mole.